Hello YouTube, it's Mr. Death Note here, back for another video. I've got quite a bit done in the time that I've had. Um, I've got quite a few interesting project projects coming up. Uh, you might want to watch my previous map editor video, because I've got another rewrite here. Um, it's written in XNA this time. I'm going to try and keep this video as short as possible, because I really don't have an awful lot of time to record it. Um, this is the new map editor. Nothing to do with that, but uh, this is the new map editor. This is the default map. When you open it, it doesn't show anything. It's just a small map. You can make a new map if you want. Any size, whatever. It'll make it larger. Uh, I'll just import a tile sheet here. Uh, quickly from one of my other games. Okay, cool. So that's me laying some tiles, enable and disable layer visibility. Draw in a different layer if I want. Yep, sweet. Works well. Solids. These are solids. A lot of this code has just been ripped from my other map editor. The, clo the code was clean enough as it was before, and it, I didn't see any reason to, to change it at all. So uh, I'll just load a map here that I had before. It's just gobbledygook, but uh, it gets the point across. Yeah, see, there it is. It's it shrunk the map because that was the size that I had it. It's uh, filled the array with the tiles, and great. You can scroll around the level as well using the keyboard. I had put scroll bars in, but the code was getting really messy because of it, and it was a bitch to deal with. There was no point in putting it in. It, there was no need for it at all. This toolbar here is going to be filled with really useful tools when I'm getting when I actually get around to doing it. It's going to have things like filling layers, multiple tile selections, multiple tile deletions, uh, copy and paste stuff like that. Um, should be pretty pretty useful stuff. Uh, I should say that. Myself and my brother are working on a 2D RPG. It will be written in C++ with XNA or with XNA what with OpenGL. I haven't really used OpenGL an awful lot, so uh, this is my test for OpenGL in 2D. My brother will be doing all the art for the game. I'll be doing all the programming. I'm writing the engine at the minute, and this is going to be part of the rendering system. This is just a, a quick animation test, it was just to see if it would work. And it does, it works fine, it works great to be honest. It's it's a bit laggy now because it's in Cam Studio, but normally it runs very smoothly and I'm very happy with it. So yeah, this is GL right here. So finally I actu actually got something done in that. I have started working on the actual proper rendering system for the engine. But this was the test that I ran, the test that I ran before, just to see if it would be viable, see if I could do it, and I can. So, great. I've got one more thing to show off, and this is a networked air hockey game. I'm developing it with three other guys. The core game is finished. I wrote the core game. Graphics and uh, some stuff are, are done by other people. Um, scoring system, the HUD, or I buy other people, but the rest of it is mine, and this is a university project, so uh, we're in time constraints as well. So, this is it. It's a bit laggy because of Cam Studio again, but yeah, reacts well, physics, you know, what you would expect. Yeah, it was pretty fun to, to write it, to be honest. Give me good excuse to do some miles, <laughs> vector algebra and stuff, pretty cool, worked out really well, the collision came out really well, the circular collision, uh, you may see more of this in another video, and um, I'd say the next time I do a video on this I'll probably use a camcorder and have the game running networked on two different computers just to show that it does work. I think that'll be pretty interesting. People might want to see that. So.
so yeah that's great um, I should also say that that 2D RPG that I'm working on with my brother that will this will take a long time to develop <laughs> quite a while um, I'm gonna post development videos every now and then I'm not gonna post them every week or whatever I'll post them when I feel like it and yeah it should be good hopefully you guys will get some enjoyment out of it maybe spark up some good conversations so yeah until next time